Hello again, welcome back to the yellow chair. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, little vlog about, um, I made some trousers finally. A million dresses since I started to learn to sew and um, I finally, finally made some dresses. The pattern that I use is called the Peppermint Wide Leg Pants and it was a free pattern about a year ago. It came with Peppermint Magazine, that is an Australian magazine and um, every month they do a free pattern. And the patterns are designed by an Australian company called In The Folds and there's some really, really great ones on there. They're all 100% free. Um, they do provide you with an A0 file if you want to send it to the copy shop and get it printed out, which is what I do with my PDF patterns. So do go and have a look at those. This is the line drawing of the trousers and as you can see it's quite a basic pattern. I really wanted to make them up in this pink twill that I got from BST Fabrics. If you haven't looked them up already they're really worth uh, a look round, they've got some lovely fabrics, uh, really really good value. Um, anyway so I bought this twill and it looks very much like pink denim and it's got a nice stretch to it. Now this pattern actually is for non-stretch fabrics but I thought well what's going to be the problem and also it's going to give me a bit more leeway in case there's any issues with fitting or anything. Um, so there wasn't really an issue about um, making them with stretch fabric except I do wish that I'd stay stitched the pieces because what I found is the areas that got a lot of work especially around the fly area they did stretch out quite a lot so um, that's like a, a lesson for me next time. Um, so I wanted to make them look more like jeans um, I am at the stage in my sort of sewing journey that I would like to make myself some jeans. I was in Ray Stitch and I was having a look at the jeans patterns and the one that I really really liked, um, I looked at the line drawing and thought well that is actually exactly the same as these peppermint pants and I've already got that pattern, I'd already got it made up um, and I thought well why not use the same pattern but just add a few elements to make them more like jeans. So that's what I did. I um, added back pockets and I'll insert a close-up there so you can see the little fancy top stitching that I did on the back of the pockets. Um, the back pocket pattern piece was actually one that I nicked from my abominable quick sew dungaree debacle. Um, so at least I got one thing good out of that, I got a bum pocket piece. So I added bum pockets and I top stitched around the fly area the pattern doesn't call for any t top stitching around that area, um, or does it? But I, I, that's it, I decided to put contrast top stitching on and I decided to put two lines. So I've got two lines of top stitching running around there. It was all a bit of a nail biting experience because my Juki is in the shop at the moment being repaired because I think there's a loose connection on the bobbin winder. Basically the bob bobbin winder was in... Uh, intermittently not working. So I've sent it back to Frank Nut for them to look at. In the meantime I'm using my faff which has just been serviced, it's all lovely, back from the shop. The only problem with my faff is that its default speed is quite fast and I mean I don't mean super fast or anything but when you're trying to do top stitching like and inch it in I probably would be better off using the foot pedal but I'm a bit lazy and I hadn't got the foot pe pedal out so I've been using it with the on off button um, but trying really really hard to get the top stitching spot on um, and also I am lazy and normally when I do top stitching I use an edge stitch stitching uh, foot that's got a blade down the middle for you to um, measure exactly where you're putting your top stitching and then you move the needle to either right or left and anyway I don't have that foot for the faff um, so yeah I've been doing it like the proper way I suppose but anyway I got it all all my top stitching is lovely, it just required a little bit more concentration than I normally put in. So I did the back pockets um, with the top stitching around them, I top stitched the fly, um, what else did I do? Yeah I was feeling really smug about the construction of these and it was all going really really well until I came to the waistband. Because these were my first pair of trousers I've never had sort of any experience of fitting pants before. Um, I've made quite a lot of pairs of jumpsuits so I have had a bit of experience on things like crotch depth, crotch rise, things like that. Um, fortunately on this one the crotch depth was fine. Um, when I tried them on what I did was I, after I'd inserted the fly, I basted the legs together and um, just tried them on for fit. They were 
big on the waist and I always have this problem. My waist is at least two sizes smaller than my hips. And so even when I grade, um, usually I find that when I first try them on, there's still more to be taken out. And I finished up um, grading quite a pronounced curve from the waist to the hip, um, which I'm not sure whether or not it looks great but these trousers they're flat fronted they don't have any darts or pleats in the front so I couldn't take anything at all out of the waist because at the centre seam you've got the fly I'm not really sure how you go about taking out of that I suppose you could I suppose you could grade it in with a straight line rather than a curve up the centre front seam I might try that when I make the next pair um, so anyway, I finished up taking about eight centimetres out. So yeah, two centimetres on each side seam. So eight centimetres in all um, between waist and hip. And that obviously affected the length of my waistband. So I finished up chopping too much off my waistband, having to recut a new waistband, which still came up too short. I really don't know how I can have gone from having um, too much ease in them. The waistband should have been way too long um, to finish up getting the waistband too short twice but it's one of those mysteries of sewing you know it's like the sewing Bermuda Triangle I don't know how it all goes wrong but anyway there's always something isn't there um so I finished up having to add a wee bit to the end of my waistband but in actual fact it's the part that goes underneath and so you can't see it so actually I really didn't need to I just was a bit confused about um which bit went under the reason that I was confused about which bit went under when you do the button is because I put the fly on the wrong way and I don't know how I put the fly on the wrong way the instructions are quite they're well illustrated but there's a mistake in the instructions where it tells you to attach the fly instead of the fly shield or vice versa I forget which way around it is but I know that Although I sussed it out and I did, I constructed the fly okay, there was a little bit of confusion. And in the midst of that confusion, I must have forgotten to tell my left from right. Well done, Jane. So, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't actually realise until I was putting on the button. So at the very last stage, I thought, this button isn't folding over the right way that it should be. And I looked at the fly and I was like, don't. Idiot. I don't really care that the fly's on the wrong way. Um, those sorts of things do not really matter to me. So I will insert a few pictures of me wearing the trousers. I took some photographs today when I went out to the hospital to have my bloods taken because we're still having various question marks and health issues. Bloods are still being taken. This is my fourth set of bloods in the last, since February. Um, so yeah, here are some photos of me wearing them. I think there is too much ease in the legs. Um, I like them being wide, but I feel like there's too much ease in the hips and thigh area. So I might take out um, a centimetre on each side when I make the next pair. I bought some black twill from BST Fab Fabrics when I bought this pink twill. And I really want to make some up in that because I'm just a bit desperate for a, a pair of comfy black trousers. Um, so I wondered if you would like to do a sew along for this pattern because I thought it's great. It goes up to a, I'll post what size it goes up to, I forget, but it goes, because they're alphabetical, it's, it's called size J. But anyway, the pattern covers quite a wide range of sizes and because it's free, everybody can join in. Um, so please let me know in the comments if you're interested in that and it will be not, by no means a tutorial because I don't have enough experience to be doing a tutorial but we can sew them together, we can share hints and tips, um, I can give my little ideas that I have about making them look a bit more jeans like, perhaps we can find ways of putting um, belt loops on as well. Oh, when I was talking about the top stitching, the only area that I didn't finish up top stitching was the waistband because um, because I made a mistake on the waistband, it finished up not being very neat and I basically didn't want to call attention to it by adding any more decorative top stitching. So in the end, I top stitched the waistband just to kind of attach it in the way that the pattern called for, but I didn't do any decorative top, top stitching on the waistband. But with the black ones, I'm going to do... Um, visible yellow top stitching again to make them look a bit more ca kind of casual um, and so hopefully I will construct them correctly this time 
and um, do some more decorative top stitching. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to join in with um, a peppermint wide leg pants sew along. Have a look on Instagram, they use that um, hashtag that will pop along the bottom so you can insta stalk everybody else's various journeys. You can have a look at me moaning on my first attempt back in, I don't know, it was about a year ago and I completely failed with them. I inserted the fly wrong, they didn't fit me, I used the wrong type of fabric, they were just an absolute disaster and went in the bin. So it's quite nice to be able to revisit this pattern now and feel like I've got a wearable pair of trousers out of it. Oh, Betsy's just come in to say hello. Hello, Betsy. She doesn't really like being lifted up. Ah, oh, look, there you've got a glimpse of her tail. She never ever stays on my knee. I think when I'm vlogging, she hears that I'm talking to someone. Well, oh, there she goes. <laughs> she wants to know who it is. So anyway, yeah, bonus Betsy there. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me today. I always forget to say, please like and subscribe, but please do. Um, I'm so, so chuffed by how many of you have subscribed in the last six months, really, since I started working on my vlog and um, sort of putting in like proper hard yards into working on my vlog and releasing vlogs regularly. It is quite a lot of work, so it, it's really rewarding if you know that people are watching it and commenting on it. So thank you so much for joining me today and I shall see you next time. The pattern that I was going to choose was going to be the um, Megan Nielsen D Dawn. The jeans pattern that I was going to buy was the Megan Nielsen.